Hello everyone. Today we will be covering a very important topic: how to get ready for venture funding. A lot of early stage founder think that funding is a one step process. Actually, it's not. It's a systematic, multi stage process. You need to be ready to get funded by an institutional investor, either an angel or a VC firm. So our focus will be today to get you ready for venture funding. Before starting. I would like to share this beautiful example. Funding is very critical for the success of business. However, as a founder, you need to hustle and have to be innovative to tap in funding. These serial packets were launched by one startup during the 2008 recession. It was Obama versus McCain election campaign. They created this serial packet to generate some fund to keep their venture alive. They bought packet for four dollar and sold it for forty dollar. And make nine hundred percent return on each sale. They raised thirty thousand dollar in just few days, and use this money to keep their venture running. And this company is none other than Airbnb. This hustle not only helped them to stay afloat during that recession period, but it also helped them to get entry into the Y Combinator. Now let's learn about what are the different sources of funding available for a founder. Generally, we think about angel and VC firm, but I would strongly suggest if you are planning to raise fund, you should first tap your friend and family circle. You should raise this love money. It will put some additional pressure on you to perform. You can always tap angel and venture capital fund, but don't forget different grants and loans available. Many cities and countries around the world. Offering these innovation grant and funding to startup, anything is good for business as long as it gives you fuel to run and survive. Before raising fund, there are some important definition that every entrepreneur should learn: product founder fit and product market fit. Why this team? Why this founder? And why this product? There should be some story behind this. The pre and the post money valuation, the valuation of the company before and after raising fund. Preferred stock. Most angel and VC take the preferred stock in the company. They get some preference at the time of liquidation. Cap table is a summary of stakeholder in the business who all own what kind of share in the company. Cliff is for employee and founder that they cannot convert their share for a set period of time. To ensure that they stay with the company, pay to play. It's help founder to make sure that all invested in a portfolio company continue their pro rata financial commitment to the company. Funding rounds, PC, seed, Series A's, and many more. These are different funding round based on the company growth. Term sheet is the sheet offered by investor or an angel, and include all the terms of the deal. Safe and convertible note are the funding mechanism used by the investor. Data, data room, storing all data and document related to a business to one place. Now let's talk about different funding nomenclature. You heard about angel, PC, seed, post seed, Series A, Series B, and growth stage. The key difference is the check size and which type of investor will be interested to give you money. Further. It required different product development phase and team size. You can raise funding based on your situation. Sometimes company bootstrap and raise only Series A or growth stage funding. You don't need to follow this linear step approach. You can raise fund based on your current situation. Now, the most important thing to raise fund is to prepare your pitch deck. You need to remember what to include in your pitch deck. It's like resume for your company, so you need to ensure that it get investor attention. The pitch deck should not be too long, because it become difficult for investor to understand. The most important thing to highlight are the problem, and how big is that market opportunity? What is your TAM, SAM, and SOM? Talk about your solution, about the product, potential customer, and the technology. Competition is very important. 
don't say there is no competition because it means there is no market user may be using different solution but there is always some competition tell about your business model current traction you need to find some users to achieve the traction go to market strategy is very important how will you win the market rest is about exit plan and what are you looking from the investor now important question to answer is how to reach out to these investor or how to approach investor you need to understand that each investor or each venture capital firm they have an investment thesis the thesis define which sector and stage they are focusing on you need to also understand if that particular vc firm or investor are investing in your geography or not what is the check size who all are in their current portfolio if they have already invested in your competitor they will not interested to invest in you what is the value addition these vc firm can offer some of them can help you to get new clients what is their fund size how much dry powder is left in their fund who are the journal partner and principal in the fund and how they treat their portfolio company do they need a warm introduction it means that you need to be referred by somebody either their portfolio company or somebody in their network or they are ready to accept a cold email or a pitch deck from you some of the vc firm allow you to submit your pitch deck through their website it's also very important to understand the ecosystem there are some vc which are sector agnostic and geography agnostic and they can invest in all type of company but still i would strongly recommend you to go through and do your research before reaching out to any vc or investor at mobility innovation lab we are actually building a database of vc firm and corporate venture firm who are investing in mobility transportation electric vehicle new mobility autonomous mobility mass logistic supply chain and other relevant sector currently we have identified 85 venture fund further you can find about their thesis geographic focus and funding stage on our website we are also building a detailed profile of each fund who are the journal partner in those fund what is the fund size which are their portfolio companies and how to reach them mobility innovation lab also work as a venture scout with certain vc firm in the sector so feel free to reach out to us if you are building something interesting for early stage founder it's very important to understand how vc firm evaluate companies and we have this vc scoring rubrics each vc firm have its own metric to evaluate early stage startup and give weightage to different factors i would like to share one particular example in this case the team is the most important factor and get the highest weightage why this founder and why this team the firm look for product founder fit just to share an example a company called worda raised 7 million in pre seed investment because its founder had a very strong background market size and timing of opportunity each firm look for a startup with at least 100 million in potential revenue because this is a minimum benchmark to become a unicorn rest is a product which will evolve over the period of time and your market strategy how will you win this market so you have seen that team market business model and competitive advantage are the key factor i would like to quickly show you how the screening of early stage startup is being done every vc firm try to give some scoring on these parameter if you have repeat founder or founders in your team you will always get a highest weightage and mark if you don't have a good strong team your chances are very low how big is the market opportunity and what is the growth rate because both are important if it's a big market but no growth or no future for example the fossil fuel it's a big huge market but what's the future of that it's very uncertain business model does the startup has a business model and how evolve it is it means are you making some money or are you getting some traction is it a disruptive new market business model with pricing and explosive go to market strategy 
what is your competitive advantage how will you build your moat pricing can never be a competitive advantage any big player can beat you on pricing it's always the product differentiation and the team and the strategy which can differentiate you another important point for early stage founder is to understand different funding instrument and which one to use convertible note is the most common instrument that has an interest rate component you can have a discount or cap for the investor at which rate the equity is converted you can have a maturity date and pro rata right and can be customized for each investor the problem is lawyer will charge a heavy fee as they have to build everything from the scratch the alternative options are safe note it's simple agreement for future equity it's a common instrument used by founder when they are not certain about their valuation the safe notes are developed by y combinator it can have a discount or a cap but it's not necessary it's an easier option and has no maturity date it's little favorable for the founder so sometime investor don't want to use it kiss note it's keep it simple security it's developed by 500 startup it can have two version debt or equity it give the right to the investor to participate in future rounds and investor get more benefit in case of company exit and sell off so it's little favorable to the investor now you need to pick which one the investor and you want to work you always need to look for win win never one side now the biggest question is how to do the valuation generally safe and kiss notes are used when founder don't want to value their company and want to settle in the future however as a founder you should know how the valuation matrix work it's not a science or it's not a art it's both 2021 was an exceptional year as the valuation skyrocketed currently the startup are valued around 10 to 20 million in the seed round we may see some slow down there are three method to do the valuation the simple one is the market cap you multiply your outstanding share with the share price that share price can be discovered based on some benchmark generally the startup are value based on the multiple of their revenue or ebitda you can do that by either benchmarking with other startup in your space or with public stock benchmarking also some firm use discounted cash flow method to value the companies the key challenge is to do valuation of the startup in pre revenue stage in this case there are different method to do valuation based on market technology team terms and traction i don't want to go too much into detail in this presentation but we'll be happy to share more about these in the coming series in case of a startup with revenue like we mentioned earlier you can do valuation based on revenue and ebitda multiple you can also value your company based on number of user and month on month growth comparing your startup with your competitor in the space you can also value your company based on market share potential how big market can be for this company if you are in a fund raising process or planning to raise fund in next 6 month i would strongly recommend you to learn about this space there are some free courses offered by ripple x and techstar in partnership with kaufman you can register on these courses and learn more about how the vc firm work and how they set the deal terms please feel free to share your feedback or comment Also if you are working on any interesting idea in mobility or transportation space would love to have a coffee chat I would like to thank you for your attention and wish you good luck in your fundraising process take care bye bye